So this is possible one of the best electric skateboards right now and you can buy one. Hey guys, Gabby here from Ray Studios and today I'm gonna be reviewing the Elofty Alpha 5. First, let's do a quick unboxing. So the board came in this box, inside another box, and with a lot of padding inside. So there is a lot of protection to take care of this board during transportation. As soon as we open it, we can see the Alpha 5 that can wrap in this plastic bag. And this thing looks fancy, but more on that later. Inside the box, we also have uh, quite a few documentation, like the instruction manuals. I believe that's probably the guarantee card and some of the cards. We also have a whole bunch of stickers, a couple of tools, extra belt, the classic T2, the charging brick and charging cable, a couple of extra pulleys, the remote with a charging cable for the remote, which is Type-C, and we have extra wheels. So here it is, the Elofty Alpha 5. Now, first, let's address what I said at the beginning of the video. The reason you cannot get one is because this is Chinese exclusive market and they're not gonna be exporting, but the reason I get one is because first, I live in China and second, this brand plans to go international very soon. So probably in 2022, you're gonna be able to buy a Elofty. Not sure it's exactly this one, but definitely one escape from this brand. And here is the thing, I've been skating e-skating for a number of years and a big fan of this activity, sport, hobby, whatever you want to call it. And every time I go into like a group e-skate ride with mostly Chinese people because they live in China, uh, I end up seeing a lot of this uh, e-skate with this brand, the e-lofties, in particular this one. This is the e-lofty Alpha 5 and it looks like it have a big following here in China and it's not like it doesn't have competition. There is a, a bit of presence from X-Way and Backfire, but the locals, Chinese people, they seem to choose this brand a lot. And, you know, I was wondering, like, what is so special about it? Till I ride one, I ride one of my friends, he loves the Alpha Fire, and I was like, woohoo, these things have some serious power. But before I talk about that, let's first talk about the design. And like I said, this thing is really beautiful. Let me step back a little so you can see it better. Um, yeah, I love the design, everything about it. Uh, it's kind of weird in a way because it is somewhere between a shortboard and a longboard. It's a little bit shorter than a longboard, a little bit bigger or longer than a regular shortboard. You can even call it a mini, but it's right in between, which might be very appealing to some people. Now, another thing that is very interesting is right here. First, we have the motors pointing outside, which means you cannot kick on the tail to bring the board up and pick it up from the floor. That's something a little bit annoying because every time you need to pick up the board, you need to like go down and pick it up. That's something I really don't like, but they probably did that to protect the motors. Another thing is we have a drop down deck. We can see it right there. And it's not just drop down, it's also have a very strong concave. So, at uh, the beginning I thought that would be uncomfortable, but I stand on it and it feels pretty okay. Um, considering that it is a shortboard, having dropped down and such a strong concave seems counterintuitive, but to be honest, it feels pretty good. Now, the start of the show right here. Look at this. This is beautiful carbon fiber and it's like one of the nicest carbon fiber I've ever seen. You know, carbon fiber comes in different qualities and this one is one of the best. It's similar to the one on the X-Way Atlas. Now, another thing that is beautiful about this is that these boards that they're relatively small, I mean, it's shorter than a regular longboard, um, they usually have like a big battery case and another case for ESC. They have nothing. Look at how beautiful that is. So it looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, what is left there to do is try it out and see how it's actually performed. So, an arrow here.
I've been riding this board for a few days and god damn this scene is powerful. But before I talk about performance, first I want to quickly talk about the remote. Now, as you can see, it's not your classic hobby wing remote, even so this is a hobby wing board. This is completely redesigned. Attention to detail. We have a Type-C port, we have a LCD screen, uh, we have a couple of buttons and the wheel, but it's made, well made. And another thing that I like, look at this. They put a red wrist strap that matches the color of the board that is black and red. So, thumbs up for that is another one more thing that is quite unique about this e-skate now performance this scene is really fast if you want to put it into the shortboard category well nothing comes even close to the power of the alpha 5 but even if you want to compare it to electric longboard since this is this is a little bit bigger than an electric shortboard right still it will be probably the fastest electric lumbar out there we are not going to be comparing this with something like the mipo hurricane or the x-ray atlas those are 80 buffs that have a lot of power they're massive and a lot of weight these things can compare to pretty much any other lumbar in the market and it still pack so much power i would say probably the fastest esk in the market today so when it comes to performance, it's amazing. That translates both in acceleration, top speed, and braking. The brakings on these things, wow. They actually lock the wheels. No matter what, how, how fast you're, you're riding, no matter how strong you're riding it, could be on a downhill. I mean, wow, it really locks the, the, the wheels. And it's, it's translating to a lot of confidence because I'm pretty heavy and somewhere around 230 pounds, five foot nine, and a big dude. And going downhill is something that is always warming. I always need a bit of room to brake, but not with the Alpha. That brakes instantly. It's very, very powerful. And like I say, that give me a lot of confidence while riding. So it is fantastic. Besides that, another thing that I have experienced in the last few days is um, I noticed how this deck, like I say, it's not a shortboard, not a longboard, it's kind of confusing, but the problem is that being so powerful, I was all the time wishing to have a wider stance, I would really like to have a longer deck. I don't understand what they try here, okay, I, I get it in a way, they want to do a board that packs very small, beautiful and very powerful, but when a board is that kind of powerful, you should have a longer deck. Um, at least in my opinion, at, at least for someone taller and bigger, it makes sense to have a longer deck. The other thing that kind of annoys me a little bit, like if I ride for very long periods of time, those strong concave and the drop down deck, it becomes a little bit uncomfortable, like past 5-6 kilometers, you start to feel it, um, especially in your calf, get very stiff, but other than that, I'm very happy with the ill of the Alpha 5. Well, anyway. Uh, I gotta say, this board is amazing. I know uh, very, very soon Lofty is releasing an international version uh, of the brand. So because so far it's in only here in China. So in 2022, you will be able to buy an Lofty. Not sure it's exactly the Alpha 5, maybe it's the Alpha 6 or a completely different board. But I'm very excited to see what's gonna happen, what Splash is gonna do in the market with such a great power. So, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the Alpha, what you think is going to be the next uh, Ilofty board. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I'm Gabby from Ray Studios and I'll catch you up on the next video.